really something you yell at a baseball game. Dad, it looks like we're winning. Oh, yeah, you must be a good luck charm. No way. <laughs> Whoa, how come you just took second base like that? What happened? Oh, yeah, that's, uh, if the pitcher, if they don't, uh, pitch in time... And the rule's called, uh, Bach. The pitcher didn't commit to home plate, so the guy in first move over the second. Oh, uh, yeah, Bach. I just forgot what it's called. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, uh, you're welcome, pal. It's a rule you understand if you really understand baseball. <laughs> Bach. Bach. Sounds like a chicken, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Bach, 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 Yeah, Bach, Bach, Yeah, yeah. what are you, a chicken, buddy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we, uh, because chickens for eating! Yeah. Yeah, go back to Swish LA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swish, Swish LA. LA. Again, for sure not something you yell at a game. Yeah, but it's fun. The wave. Oh, I know. You, okay, wave for You, you don't have to do the wave, actually. Hey, why didn't you do it? No, oh, I don't like to get swept up in what everyone else is doing. That's how you wind up with uh, Nazis. <laughs> What a shame, I have an unimpeded view of the field for a full two minutes. That was sarcasm. Yeah. Hey, you, you got a problem with us enjoying the game there, pal? Uh, no, no problems over here, but... Well, it sounds like you got a problem. All right, I mean, who's kidding who, you know? You're a couple of bandwagoners. You, know, you weren't here for the hard years of Blue Jays baseball. <laughs> two, te two decades of teams that sucked so bad, this place was less a stadium and more a cruel vacuum. <laughs> And all of a sudden we get a sniff of the playoffs and then you guys come in droves. You know, these fresh new virgin fans are riding in on your bandwagon. Hashtag come together. <laughs> you know, we're just trying to enjoy the game for my daughter's birthday. Yeah, it's my first game. Oh, I'm shocked to hear that given the depth of knowledge you've displayed thus far. <laughs> Nine. Yeah, you are nine. For you, it's all hot dogs and Bautista bat flips, but you don't know the pain of perpetual mediocrity. We eat some hot dogs? Yeah, you know, when the guy comes around, we'll get a hot dog. That's yeah. a fun thing to do at a game. Yeah, a couple of wieners for the bandwagon, huh? You got a problem with hot dogs too, buddy? Yeah, I do, pal. You weren't here for the hard years of hot dogs. <laughs> the maple leaf listeria scare, 2008. 57 confirmed cases. There was the meat protein within 10 miles of this place. Hashtag diarrhea. I, I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's oh, a you got all of that one. All right, go! Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna high-five you, kid. Oh, buddy, high-five my kid. Uh-uh, pal, you weren't here for the hard years of high-fives. Ever heard of a little thing called SARS 2003? Yeah, wonder how that got cooking. I was a bunch of strangers in a dome touching hands every second, spreading contagion to epidemic levels. Hashtag quarantine. What's your problem? You're ruining the game for us, and it's my birthday. Who doesn't like high-fives? I'll tell you who. Dickheads. Hashtag dickheads. Okay, Jesse, come on. Okay, yes. <laughs> Clearly got no friends. That's why he keeps talking to us. Well, you know, let me tell you something about friends, pal. Oh, you know, like, what? We weren't here for the hard years of making friends? <laughs> All right, you know, fair enough. Okay, I don't have too many friends. You have any idea what it's like being friends with a guy like me, huh? I'm a fucking nightmare, pal. <laughs> you know, anytime something gets cool or popular, I gotta shame people for enjoying it. The last real friend I had, we got in a fist fight because I said he ate too much quinoa. You know? I had another buddy who had one of those man buns. I snuck up behind him with a pair of scissors and snipped it off. <laughs> Do you know the only month of the year I don't have this mustache? November, okay? You know, so my fanship of the team is rather sacred, okay? I got here first and I earned it, so I need to sit somewhere else because this is literally all I have left. You know what? Let's just, there's some seats there. Let's just go over there. This one being a jerk, he should move. Yeah, I know. We're going to move so we can have fun at a baseball game. Yeah, here's your thing, pal. I, I, I think you're forgetting something, though. It's a, a can of paint for you to, you can touch up your bandwagon. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, pal? You weren't here for the hard years of my life, okay? You weren't here July 12th, 2008, okay? Yeah, let's just go. No, I'm gonna tell him. You weren't here when a guy took his beautiful wife out on a date because they hadn't been on a date in over a year because they just had little Jesse. So they went and did their favorite thing. They went to a Jays game and he dropped all his money and he got him three rows back from the dugout. 
when for some reason in the sixth inning, he decides to point at the Jumbotron. Say, hey, you know what's the biggest TV in the world right now? When all I can remember is hearing the crack of Posada's bat. And Johnny Mac, God bless him, he jumped for it, but he just couldn't get it. And the ball came into the stands and it hit my wife right behind the ear. And she dropped dead in my arms. And I had to go home alone and tell little Jesse that she was never gonna see her mom again. Every day she'd look at a picture of her mom on the mantle wearing a Jays jersey and say, Mom was a Jays fan? I want to be a Jays fan. We can we go to the Jays game, Dad? And I'd say tomorrow, the next week, the next season, because I just couldn't bring myself to set foot back in here. But then, yeah, the Jays start winning. And I start thinking, it might be 20 years before they win again. And I can't deny little Jesse the joy of watching the Jays win. So I sucked it up, and I bought some tickets, and I sat here beside you telling me I'm on the bandwagon? Well, yeah, buddy, I'm on the bandwagon. But it's painted in the blood of my dead wife. So don't you talk to me about shit, pal! You saved my girl! You saved my... Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Are you okay? Holy shit! Holy shit! I can't believe you caught a foul ball! Holy shit! And it's her birthday! She's a kid. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, thanks, buddy. <laughs> hey, welcome to the bandwagon. No way! <laughs> <laughs>